Closing cost credits and how to save yourself thousands at the closing table. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb and I wanted to share with you everything about closing cost credits and how you can use them when purchasing a home to ultimately help you save you thousands of dollars of extra expense at the closing table. So first off, what is a closing cost credit? Well, closing cost credit is essentially where the seller gives the buyer money to help pay towards their closing costs. Now, remember that these, this money that the seller is giving this buyer can't go towards their down payment, but it can pay their closing costs. So why does a buyer use them? Ultimately, a closing cost credit will save a buyer from coming to the table with additional funds, right? Because the seller is going to be giving those funds in order to pay for those closing costs. So they're able to get into the house for, for less money. Um, but keep in mind, essentially what it is, is a closing cost credit is, is really a buyer financing um, that, that financing those closing costs because ultimately at the end of the day, everything comes down to the net as for, for a seller. So um, what should you talk to your agent about closing costs? Well, you should really be talking to your agent about you know closing costs and whether you want to do them at your initial meeting when you're talking about your real estate goals and ultimately what you're looking for in a home and talking about your budgets. But you also want to talk to your real estate agent again at the time of writing up the offer because it's going to depend a lot about what type of situation you're going into. For example, if you're going into a multiple offer situation, you probably don't want a, a uh, closing cost credit. So that might be a situation where we don't necessarily write it in as, as your initial offer, which I'll talk about in a couple seconds how we can um, try to get those closing cost credits in at a later point in the transaction. But generally speaking, somebody who's putting 20% down doesn't really need a closing cost credit. However, I have seen situations where the buyers have exactly 20% down and, and they don't want to go to 19%, if you will, because they have that exact 20% so they're able to get more favorable financing and they might need some help with some closing costs. So it doesn't matter really if you're putting 3% down, 5% down, or 20% down. Closing cost credits is definitely something that is, quite frankly, very available to you. So um, how to confirm the amount of the closing cost credits. Generally speaking, you can estimate about one and a half to 2% um, of the purchase price is what's gonna cost you for closing cost credits. So what does closing cost consist of? Well, it's the application fee, origination fee, processing fee, underwriting fee, appraisal fees, lots of fees when you work with banks, right? Um, you have your title insurance, you have recording fees, those are fees that go to the state. Uh, you're gonna need some homeowner's insurance because you have to pay that a, a, ahead of time. And then maybe any condo fee or tax adjustment. So those are all closing costs that you have to take care of at the closing, at the time of closing, at the closing table. So um, to know the exact amount, you really want to reach out to your lender right before you write that offer in order to start really talking about um, going from hypotheticals to more exact amounts. So what happens if you ask for a larger credit than you ultimately end up using? So let's say, for example, you ask for $5,000, but you only end up using $4,500 uh, for closing costs. Well, believe it or not, that $500 actually reverts back to the seller because remember, none of this money can go towards your down payment. So you do want to try to be as exact as possible when it comes to closing costs. So a couple of reasons why a seller might say no to closing costs. Uh, the first one's appraisal issues. So let's just say your house was uh, you know $100,000, but we're essentially we're at 103,000, right? Um, well, now that house needs to appraise for that 103000 in order for the deal to go through. So there is a little bit more risk there from the seller's perspective. And depending on the situation and deal, we can actually help you know, minimize that risk and make a seller feel more comfortable with that by putting certain language in there. Um, also, it's going to cost the seller a couple extra bucks in additional taxes and fees. So their net proceeds amount will change. A little, not not a whole lot, but by a little, and this could ultimately negatively impact them about the thoughts of the closing cost credit. Something that sellers do think, which necessarily isn't true, they believe uh, there's this misconception, if you will, that if somebody's asking for closing costs, then it means well they're a weaker buyer, and that is not that is not true. Um, it just means for this specific case, they might need a little extra help, or they might just want to finance their closing costs, quite frankly, because they want to keep their money in the stock market. I don't know. So, uh, but let's just say you your offer is accepted. Uh, we've gone through the uh, purchase, or excuse me, the uh, home inspection. Now we're on the purchase and sale agreement, and you decide, hey, you know what? 
I want the seller to try to contribute some closing costs. Well, we can actually go back to the seller. We can ask very nicely because they don't have to say yes, but we can ask very nicely is, you know, Mr. Seller, you know, I know we had agreed to $100,000, but can we inflate that price to $103,000? And can you just give me $3,000 back in closing cost credit? Now, again, the seller's numbers change about $13 or $14 of additional taxes off of that example. So we're not talking a whole much, a whole lot here, uh, but their net does change a little. So you, you do wanna ask very, very, very nicely when you do this. But that terminology is called inflating the sales price of the home in order to get that uh, closing cost credit back. So uh, again, my name is Jeff Chubb. Uh, I work with the Chubb Realty Group. We're brokered by eXp Realty. If you have any questions about your home or your dream home that you're looking to purchase or a home that you're looking to sell or the market that you're currently living in, hey, no questions out of bounds here. We'd love to chat with you. No real estate questions out of bounds. We'd love to chat with you. Um, the best number to get us at is 617-480-2600 or by email at jeff at boston2.com. Thanks for watching. We look forward to being your real estate, real estate resource and hope you're having a great day.